Do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power. We're now hosted on Project Phoenix Media. Today's video game tutorial is going to be a dedicated tutorial, hopefully a very concise tutorial, on how to prepare your USB hard drive, formatting, and installing PS2 games so it works with Open PS2 Loader on your PS2. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, OPL, modded PS2, please see the PS2 playlist. So let's do this. So what you want to do first is go to your hard drive, so connect your external hard drive, go to uh, right click your partition, go to properties, and one tip is go to hardware, find your drive, click on properties, and just make sure after you click on policies that it has the better performance mode option selected. It just helps with formatting and also ripping your games to it as well. So what you want to do also is format it. So let's go ahead and format. Go to format, select NTFS here, give it a name, click on start, and you're good to go. I'm not going to do that because I already have my games on my PS2 hard drive. But you, of course, uh, go ahead and format it if you have not done so already. Next thing you want to do is make sure that the partition is an active partition. So if you go to control panel, go to administrative tools, and then go to computer management. On the left hand side you want to go to disk management and then find your USB hard drive. So my USB hard drive is actually only one partition. It's about a 149 gigabyte partition and um, it's the letter I. So I'm just waiting for this to load. Here's my, here's my uh, USB hard drive right here. Right click on it. Make sure it's active. Now versatile. What do I do if I have a USB hard drive and I have more than one partition like a primary and then let's say I have a second partition which is logical partition. You want to make sure that you rip your games to your primary partition and it's active. If you rip your PS2 games to a logical partition, it's not going to work properly with Open PS2 Loader. So don't do that, okay? So make sure you rip your games to our primary partition and it's active. But we're in the beginning stages of formatting the hard drive. So let's assume you already got this first step done with formatting the hard drive. NTFS, primary partition, active. Notice how many times I said that. It's really important, guys. Okay. Next thing is we want to bring up this program called USB Extreme. So I got a shortcut here on my second monitor, so let's bring it up here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and select my, uh, actually before we do this, go to Disk Format, click on Format, find your PS2 hard drive, now format it again. What this does is, is uh, it properly formats as FAT32 and tricks the PS2 so that it can properly use this file format. So I'm not going to do that because I already have games installed, but uh, do that second disk format. Now I'll go to Games Installer. Now go to your hard drive, select your PS2 hard drive here. Here I have two games installed. If you want to rename a game, you just right click, rename it, or you can delete it too, or you can make a copy of it too. If you want to rip your game, so let's say you have a disk drive, an actual PS2 disk, or you have an ISO mounted virtually, you can go to your disk drive and then select your media type. Most of the, game, most of the time, the games are DVD. And here I can give this a name like a Wipeout, oops, Wipeout 2. And I click on Start and start and install. So what it's going to do is it's going to start ripping my game. Now I already have the game ripped so I'm going to go ahead and cancel this process but it takes about 5-10 minutes depending on the speed of your drive and your ripping procedure of course. So that is the first method to install games to your USB hard drive. Now let's say you have a bunch of dot game ISOs on your computer. I don't know how you got it but let's say somehow you got these ISO files. Another way to install these ISO files is uh, it's pretty easy. So let me go through that process as well. So if I go to my computer, I go to my PS2 games uh, partition here, and what you want to do is you want to make two folders. One folder is called CD, one folder is called DVD, because some PS2 images, if they're 700 megabytes or less, most likely it's a CD game, but 99.9% .9 of PS2 games is actually DVD games. And maybe it's not 99.9, .9, maybe it's more like 95. But in general, it's, they are DVD games. So here I have a DVD folder, and we see that I have one game installed right now, it's called Red Star. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and copy a second game into this folder here. And once that's finished copying, I'll tell you guys exactly how to rename it properly for open PS2 loader use. If you go to the more info section, like I said, I got a link to this opl.sksapps.com. And it's got some good steps in telling you how to install games um, you know, to the hard drive as well. Now there is a very special way of how you are supposed to rename your guy rename your games for the PS2 hard drive. So right now it's copying, but what you notice is if we take a look at my Red Star example, there is this SLUS underscore 208.85. Where did I get this name from? So if I were to go to my computer here and go to double click into my game ISO, 
we see that every game has some kind of identifier. So this Wipeout Fusion, for example, is an SLUS underscore 204.62. So you want to make sure that this prefix of numbers and letters is part of your PS2 ISO file name. After that, syntax, then you can call the game whatever you want, and then that will show properly in the open PS2 loader list. So let's go back here. We have about three minutes remaining. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video momentarily, and then we'll go back and finish off this this uh, installation process. It's pretty cool. All right, so we're back in business. So let's go ahead and rename this ISO file. So I'm going to press F2 here. I'm going to call this SLUS underscore 204.62 dot. And then I'm going to call it, the, you know, name the game, Wipeout underscore Fusion. And that's it. Now, when I eject my USB hard drive, turn on Open PS2 Loader on my PS2, plug in the USB hard drive, it's going to show this game list. It's going to show Red Star, and it's also going to show Wipeout Fusion. And yes, you can have ISO games coexist with these other games here that you ripped using USB Extreme program. And that's pretty much it. So, like I said, make sure you got primary partition, active, make sure you format it first as NTFS, format it again using the USB Extreme program, and then you can rip your games using the USB Extreme program, or you can rip the game using this ISO method, basically. And that is today's video game tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.